Hi, Dr. Joe here. There's another uh, article about hypertension in the Journal of the American Medical Association, uh, July 7th. It has to do with blood pressure control and cardiovascular outcomes. Uh, it has always been talked about that blood pressure control will actually make uh, it, it possible to live a lot longer. Uh, just because you don't get the cardiovascular disease, strokes and heart attacks as part of that. So this was looking at one of the uh, tests that was done with this. Now to set the stage for this, I must tell you that it's generally thought that one half of all blood pressure medications used in the world, and particularly they think this in Europe, we're not looking at that in the United States because uh, everybody's busy. And so we know that there is an attempt, and Germany has begun to cull out certain blood pressure medications. So here's something that's at least published in the United States. that talked about two medications you'll see often in blood pressure control uh, with a lot of physicians. One is called Verapamil SR. You might recognize that. Some of you may be taking it. And another called um, Mavic and this is a ACE inhibitor. That means it's one of the blood pressure medicines that works on one of the three components of the long uh, chain of enzymes that uh, is very important in terms of blood pressure. But this is in the first chain of the chain, the ACE inhibitors. Now it's been known for about 10 years that ACE inhibitors have something uh, that really are really wrong. In other words, after a while, the effect they have on the arteries begins to escape. You don't notice that much in the blood pressure control, particularly like Mavic, because it's always used with something else. So what you don't know is it stopped working at three months. It doesn't work anymore. And that's part of what Germany is getting rid of, all of these other medications that just don't work for you. So what did they find in this study? They found that if you got what they call good control, which is 130 over 80, this is not good control. First of all, we look at the basic highest number, systolic, and we know the optimal control is something that's 120. 130 is okay. It's old timey, and we don't use it anymore. So we know that if you have something that makes you 120, your flexibility of the arteries is a lot better. You'll live a lot longer. The plaque is down. Everything will be better for you. So what did they find with all this Folirol? They found that it didn't help to use those two medications, and it didn't help to get your blood pressure under good control under their circumstances. Beware what they think is good control.